Welcome, welcome back and I need help at C squared. In this example, we need to find the volume and the surface area of the figure below. And you notice this is a composite shape. We have a cone and we have half of a sphere. So for finding the volume, we're going to need these two formula. And I'm going to start with the volume of the cone, which you notice is 1 over 3 pi r square h. The radius in this case is 6 inches and the height is 8 so we have here 1 over 3 times pi times 36 times 8 i will suggest you to simplify if it's possible like in this case so 3 goes in 36 12 times and 12 times 8 is 96 and don't forget the pi the volume of the cone is 96 pi we're going to go now to the volume of the sphere. And that, if you notice, is 4 over 3 pi r cube. So in this case, we have 4 over 3 pi times 6 cube. 4 over 3 times pi and 6 cube is 216. Again, if you can simplify, I will suggest you to do it. 3 goes in 216, 72 times, and we have 4 times 72, and that will be 288 pi. But be careful here, because in our composite shape, we have half of a sphere, a hemi-sphere. So you can divide by 2 or multiply by 1 half. And that will be 144 pi. So the volume of this composite shape will be the volume of the cone plus the volume of the hemisphere. That means uh, 96 pi plus 144 pi so the final answer for this volume is 240 pi cubic inches this is the volume of this composite shape and now we can move to the second part of this problem which is the surface area and I'm going to start similar with the surface area of the cone. In fact, we're going to need only the lateral area of the cone because we don't have this uh, uh, base, the circle itself, in this surface area of this composite shape. And the lateral area for the cone is just this pi RL. And you notice we know the radius, but we do not know the slant height. The slant height will be any segment that con connects uh, a point on the circumference of the base, like point A and the vertex M. And that is a right triangle, so in order to find the uh, slant height, I'm going to use uh, the Pythagorean formula, or theorem, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. In our case, A is 6, or 8, it doesn't matter. B is 8, and we need to find the slant height here. This C, the hypotenuse, the slant height. So we have 36 plus 64 equals L squared. L squared will be 100, and L will be square root of 100, which is just 10. This is the slant height, so now we can go back here and get the lateral area of the cone pi times the radius 6 times the slant height 10 so the lateral area will be 60 pi the lateral area of the cone and now we can move to the sphere the uh, surface area of the sphere if you notice down here we have the formula 4 pi r square so we're going to have in this case 4 times pi times radius 6 square which means 4 times pi times 
36. So the surface area of the sphere will be 144 pi. However, be careful, we have just half of sphere, a hemisphere. sphere. So we're going to have to multiply by one half or divide by two the surface area of the sphere. And that will be 72 pi. So now we have uh, both of them. We have the ladder area of the cone and the surface area of the hemisphere. We're going to add these two guys and get the surface area of this composite shape, which is going to be 60 pi plus 72 pi. And that will be 132 pi. The surface area of this composite shape is 132 pi square inches. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back and see square for more help. Thank you.